In today's video, we will be looking at how hot is every NFL coach's seat. Like, how close are they to be fired, if that doesn't make any sense to you. Anyways, before we get in this video, let me remind you to check out W.GG. Use code SHREDDER, S-H-R-D-3-R, so you get 10% off your order of anything on their website. They have a lot of great energy drinks. My favorite is right here, the Blue Raspberry one. The Big Energy Tears Blue Raspberry Flavor. I think it tastes great. One of the best energy drinks you can get on the market. And they're cheaper than a lot of them anyways. Like, it's like a dollar and something per drink. Most of them are 2 to $3 per drink. Anyways, make sure you check out W.GG or click the link in the description and let's get right into this video. So here is our tier list. We have at the top, on fuego. They're on fire. They're going to be fired. Or close to, right? Rather warm. They got to take off my jacket. Uh, solid temperature and big chilling, right? That's, that's, our, that's our tier list. This is obviously the safest. If you're in big chilling, you're fine. You're, you're not, they're not worried about anything. You're, you're going to lose your job more than likely if you're on fuego. Anyways, let's get into it. Sean McDermott, at this point, I think he's going to have to take off his jacket, okay? He, he's got a lot of things going on and the, the coordinators were fired and I'm not sure how good Sean McDermott is. He's not bad, but is he a good head coach? I don't know. I think he's a good head coach at certain things. I think he's a good guy to go into a messy situation, reset it, get him to a good spot, but I don't know if he's a coach that'll take you to the promised land of a Super Bowl. I think he's one that'll reset the culture, but then you got to bring in somebody else to kind of finish the job. Mike McDaniel, I think he's in that same tier. You know, I, I think he's had a couple years now where he's been he's been okay, but we got to see more. You know, he's not really getting to a point where he's going to get fired. I think this tier right here is like, it's more about this season. Like, if this season, if they have any kind of rough patch, they're going to move here quickly. But right now, they're not really worried about their job, but like, they don't need to be sitting comfortable either. Robert Sala, he's rather warm. Definitely rather warm. Maybe on fire. We're going to go on fire because I think if they have a bad year this year, Rodgers or not, he's gone. I don't think they can afford it. Their roster's too good. They've had too long. They can't keep doing this where they put together these good teams and don't get anywhere. Gerard Mayo, um, you know, he's he's new, but where's he going to go? Um, we're still going to put him right here because middle ground, right? He, he's not in a bad spot, but he's not in a good spot. But however, if this season goes really bad, could jump to here. However, they're not really expected to be good. So, you know, who knows how that's going to work. We'll move on. Zach Taylor for the Bengals. Um, hmm. I, I think he's, I think he's, I hate to keep doing this, but I think he's in here too. I really do. They, they've had a lot of issues. Joe Burrow can't stay healthy. The offensive line can't be fixed. The defense is, you know, kind of in a, in limbo at this point. Like they're, they're good, but they're not great, but they're not. Yeah. It's just kind of weird. The offense, they're about to lose some offensive playmakers. What's going on here? I don't know. There's going to be a lot of things to figure out. And we're also going to start seeing if he is really that great of a coach or if it was just a really good roster that he was dealing with that made him win. Stefanski, I think he's got a really solid temperature. Um, you know, honestly, he might even be big chilling. I, I think he's big chilling. He won a coach of the year again. Dude played or coached well with Joe Flacco playing, and he didn't play well particularly. So, unpopular opinion there. Joe Flacco was, you know, just a fine guy, not amazing. But, you know, he, he's done a good job with this team. He's a good coach. Mike Tomlin. I think he's big chilling as well. People might not think he should be, but he just got an extension. He's the best coach in the NFL. He doesn't lose. And, oh, well, yeah, he doesn't He doesn't have any winning playoff games since 2016, and you, you're okay with just winning seasons? You know what? Yeah, I am, because none of those teams were good enough to have a winning season, except for, like, maybe one of them. Like, in 2017, with, like, Ben and the, the Jaguars year, that was probably the only year they should have won a playoff game. After that, yeah. They've, they've not been that great. They just haven't. The year they were 12-4 and four was an outlier. Maybe that year you kind of should have had a playoff win or two. But, like, they crumbled, and they did. But, like, at the same time, I don't think that's a big deal. I think the fact that he's taken the teams that he has to winning seasons is a humongous deal. John Harbaugh. I think he's got a solid tip for now, but he's kind of teetering closer to got to take off my jacket. The pressure's on for this guy. He is. He should have been fired back when Flacco was failing out. And... He got his butt saved by Lamar Jackson's breakout. That's all it is. I mean, there's nothing else to it. He's He's got to prove it. He's got to. He can't, uh, you know, get back to the promised land with this uh, the, any kind of team outside of that great 2012 team. 
we got to see more from him. And I think the pressure is going to slowly increase through the next couple years. Shane Steichen, I think this dude's chilling. I think he did a great job last year with what he was dealt. You know, not the best season ever, but look at what he was dealing with. Like I said, he didn't have a lot going for him. The quarterback got hurt, played with Gardner Minshew, played well with Gardner Minshew. It, this guy, he should be a really good coach. I think he is. Doug Peterson, he's probably getting to have to take off his jacket, man. It's a little warm down there in Jacksonville. Uh, he's, he's a good coach, but... It's a lot of the same. It's really a lot of the same. Same problems every year. You got to get better, and they're not doing that. Part of the reason is their you know, general manager likes to spend a lot of money on crappy players, but hey, whatever. Do what you want to do. D'Amico Ryans, dude's definitely solid right now. Probably even big chilling. Um, had a really great season one, but season two is going to be very impactful. He could jump to here very quickly if this season goes awry, and I think that's pretty possible considering they're going to have to play a first-place uh, schedule. They're going to have to do a lot of things that are a lot tougher than what they did last year. There's more tape on C.J. Stroud. There's more expectation they have to live up to now. They're not just, you know, if they lost, if they beat these teams, it's a great thing last year. If they lose this team now, it's a bad thing. If they lose to that team last year, it's not that big of a deal. It's, it's going to be a very, very impactful year in 2024 for the Texans. And then, oh, what's his name? Brian Callahan. I think he's, you know, he's going to start off in the middle. That's just what it is. Not been a head coach before. It's going to be kind of scary. Going to Tennessee, kind of changing their identity some. We'll see how it goes for Brian Callahan down there in Tennessee. <laughs> Moving right along, Sean Payton. I think he's rather warm right now, man. I think he's definitely pretty warm. Uh, you know, had a really rough year one. Do I blame him entirely? No, but, you know, it, the roster got worse. And they're in a bad spot because if they do bad, well, the roster's not very good. But somebody's got to take the blame. And who else is it going to be than Sean Payton? I don't know. Jim Harbaugh, dude's going to start off on a great spot. He's already in solid temperature. This is Jim Harbaugh we're talking about. We're not worried about this guy. This guy is one of the, the best coaches you could hire off of, you know, college that there ever could be, ever. And, yeah, good spot. Andy Reid's big chilling. No need to explain that one. Back-to-back -back Super Bowls, going for three. Uh, Antonio Pierce, I think he's going to be in the middle here. You know, had a decent run as a head coach, was like 5-4. and four. With Aiden O'Connell, like with that said, not the greatest quarterback there. Um, you know, definitely not. So that's a good start. You've shown up, you know, for what you've been given. But now you've got a real, like, this is your job now. This is not just you, you know, filling in, kind of playing with some things because, you know, you're not the guy in charge in charge. This time you are in charge. you got a lot of things to figure out here. Uh, we might move some of these guys down later. We'll see, though. Um, I'm going to go ahead and move Sean McDermott up, actually. He's on the bottom side of rather warm. He's definitely closer to here. But, like, this Bills team has got to make something happen very soon. And, you know, maybe I'm being a little bit too harsh on that because of some things considering, like, the fact that they just reset their roster. Maybe you could say he's almost even here. But I think they just have to win. I think they got to. Dan Quinn, he's going to start off here. Dan Quinn did not have the greatest tenure as a coach last time um, and, and with Atlanta. Yeah, he got to a Super Bowl. Yeah, he, you know... Kind of got there because of a lot of external factors. But we've got to see him be a good coach. He did not end off well in Atlanta. Had a great defense in Dallas. A great defense. But there's there are some guys who they're just good coordinators. They're not good head coaches. And that might be Dan Quinn. Mike McCarthy, dude is absolutely on fire. He or Dak will not be on the Cowboys next year. I guarantee it. Because guess what? They're not winning the Super Bowl this year. They're not. It's not happening. It won't happen. Ever. Jerry Jones on that team, not happening. He will not allow them to win a Super Bowl. It will not happen. Nick Sirianni, I think he's he's rather warm. He's rather warm. You know, I'm going to move, make sure McDermott stays at the back because I don't think so. But And is he's the hottest guy here either? No, he's not. You know, I think Sean Payton and Dan Quinn's seats are both hotter than Sirianni's. I think Sirianni is a fine coach. I think they had a down year. However, if they have two down years in a row, we see a lot of problems, and that could be very, very bad. Brian Dabble, I think he's honestly in the middle here. Like, I just don't see him under a lot of fire. I just don't think he is. I don't I don't see that from the Giants. I think Dabble's a good coach. I think he has a crappy, crappy team. Daniel Jones, stinks. Receiver room, until this year with neighbors, stinks. Um, you know, they had Saquon, who wasn't healthy ever, stinks. O-line, not great either. Defense, not amazing. It's just not a lot of good. What's he supposed to do? What's this guy going to do with a crap team? Matt Everflus, I think he's rather warm. Um, you know, if they don't show a lot early with Caleb Williams, he could be on fire pretty quickly. I mean, obviously, Caleb Williams is a rookie. They're not going to say that he has to be MVP year one. But I think if he doesn't get, you know, 
off to a decent start. And I'm not saying the first part of the year. I'm saying the, just his whole year as a year one as a whole. I think there could be some pretty big issues here for Matt Aberflus. Dan Campbell, I think he's solid. I think if they were to fire him, they'd be dumb. I think he's a great coach. Yeah, he goes for it on fourth down. And you know what? We wouldn't be talking about it if his receivers could catch the ball when they're wide open and the ball's thrown to them. It's not his fault. Get over it. Matt LaFleur, um, I think he's fine as well. Not really much you can argue about that with him. He's He's been good to this point in his career and had a really great year with a lot of underwhelming talent. So, solid set for now. We just got to make sure he stays that way. And Kevin O'Connell, last one in the NFC uh, North here. I really want to put him here too. And I think I'm going to. I, I just think Kevin O'Connell's been a really solid head coach. Yeah, he had a good team, and now it's kind of shifting. He's got a... A lot of a good team, but at the same time, guys like, you know, obviously their rookie quarterback, J.J. McCarthy, hey, they have to really, really prove it here. And if he doesn't prove it very quickly, it's going to fall on Kevin O'Connell, who's considered a quarterback whisperer. Now to the NFC South, Todd Bowles. He's an interesting one. Very interesting here because, you know, last year he would have started here, 100%. But then after last year, he's got himself in a good spot. I still think he's going to be about here, though, because mainly Todd Bowles total resume as a head coach has not been great. Definitely not at all been great. Last year was good. However, if this year, if they fall flat on their face and, you know, maybe Dave Canales ends up being a really big part of that, who's the Panthers head coach now and he left, could be a really bad situation for Todd Bowles. Um, wow. Uh, what Raheem Mostert, I almost completely blanked on him. Not Raheem Mostert. That's a running back. Raheem Morris. Thank you. Uh, he's going to start off, I think, here as well. Another guy who Last time he was a head coach, did not do the best job. He was in a, you know, he, he was just not great. So why are we going to expect more now? Bad tenure as a head coach? Yeah, he's grown. He probably has learned some things from then that, you know, have made him a lot better of a coach in general. But once again, some guys are just coordinators. That's all it is. Dave Canales, we don't know nothing about this dude as a head coach. That's all I can say there. We don't know. He's, you know, bad season, he's going to end up here. Two bad seasons, he's going to end up here. That's all you can say. Dennis Allen, definitely on fire. One of probably the worst coaches in the league right now in terms of head coaching talent. Him and Todd Bowles are kind of in the same boat. Like, Except Todd Bowles had a good season last year is the only thing you can say. Neither of them are considered great coaches because they just haven't had good tenures as head coaches in their career. And it's not going to change until it does. And right now, it's not changing. Kyle Shanahan, you know, honestly, though they've been inc incredibly successful, he can't seem to get it done. I think he's going to be in this middle tier. He can't get it done. It's as simple as that. And until he can prove that he can get it done when they have a much better roster, a much better team, you know, everything should be better for them than almost every other team. Sorry, you got to prove it, man. He could, If they have a rough start this year or maybe even another bad playoff loss, he could end up there quickly. Right now, he'll stay there, though. Jonathan Gannon, I think he's solid. I don't think he's any better than that or any worse because, you know, once again, Dude had a terrible roster last year. What is he supposed to do? He's not going to take this team to the playoffs with last year's team. And a lot of people are hyping up the Cardinals right now. I think that's a little bit crazy too. They don't have a lot to work with still. They have Kyler. I love Kyler. They have Marvin Harrison. I like Marvin Harrison a lot. Michael Wilson. I'm a fan of him. McBride. I'm a fan of him. That's about the end of their relevant talent. Yeah, Buda Baker is good, and he's been trying to get out of Arizona for four years. Like, there's just not a lot to work with here. Sean McVay, um... He's, he's chilling. I don't think there's any problem with Sean McVay. And Mike McDonald, also going to start off in the middle here. I, I think he's just, you know, he, he's, once again, a new head coach we don't know nothing about as a head coach. He could just be a coordinator, but right now, he could be a, you know, pretty solid head coach. We don't know. Anyways, this is what I think we're going to start with. Um, I think we're going to end with this, too. I don't think this is bad at all. I really like how this lines out. You know, the only guys who are really in danger are Salah, McCarthy, and Dennis Allen. And then followed by the rest of these guys. Once again, I want to make sure Sean McDermott, not that these tiers aren't ranked. Mike McDaniel is no more, you know, closer to warm than Antonio Pierce is. It's just that, except for McDermott. He's as close as you can be to in between these two tiers as possible. But, you know, we'll see what happens. Anyways, let me know what you would change on here. Let me know if you think there's something different that another coach should be, you know, more in danger for their job for whatever reason. And let me know that down in the comments below. Check out w.gg and use Coach Shredder for 10% off anything on their store, and I'll see y'all in the next video.